hey guys welcome to my channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can create usb installer of mac os here i am taking mac os high sierra as an example but the same can process can also be done for other mac os version like mac os mojave catalina or the most recent big sur i will be providing all the links and the commands down in the description so you can just carry on with that so I have hope you can understand and I have the link uh, here which I am going to use thank you first let me show you that I have the link here uh, right here so for this tutorial I'm using I'm going to create in a high Sierra download um, USB installer so I have a link around here so which I am going to click uh, when I open this link it didn't open up the mac os uh, app store so open the app in you know, app store choose this option and then mac os high sierra you will get it well there is a trick say if you are in uh, mac os catalina and if you search for mac os high sierra using the search option you may not going to get this uh, installer here because um, mac os uh, catalina won't allow you to just go downgrade from the Apple store app store but you can download it if you put the direct link to direct link just the way I did this is the link given here which I will be providing later uh, later here in the description so when it's open just click get this process will check for the installer file for a while and when it found it it will show this option and you can click download to begin the process the process is very easy well that depending upon the speed of uh, how much speed you have or internet it will take some time to download the whole file because the file is quite big like 5.22 GB so it's a very big, huge file and uh, it will take some time so I will speed up the whole process and uh, after that I will show you what is the command and how you're going to do it So as you can see the download is completed and you when the download is complete you will find this uh, installer out here in the launcher you can see that in the install mac os high sierra is uh, setup file is there now to make the usb installer you are you need to follow some commands and i'm going to throw, uh, go through all this so before that you need to plug in your usb drive here I have a USB drive attached uh, but I am not going to use this one but I am going to use a different one which is 64 gig uh, USB drive so let me get, grab that for in a bit so as you can see I have attached here because I have a previous uh, Mac, uh, Mac OS High Sierra installed here but uh, this is not working because this is an old copy and I want a, a fresh copy of uh, Mac OS High Sierra on it so what I am going to do was you need to uh, open disk utility you can just use spotlight to search for it and when this open you go to the drive like here uh, this one is the one I'm going to uh, swing 30 gig. Yeah, it's 30 gig. Sorry, guys, it's not 64 bit. It's just 30 gigs pen drive. That's enough for the installer to be used. So what I do will do. I will erase this one using Mac. What you have to do is just you need to rename it. Okay, I just need I'm going to rename it to Mac and the formats. You should use Mac OS Extended Journal and click erase. In a bit, it will erase the drive and it mounted back. So now my drive is empty and nothing is over here. So let me close this and now, now you need to open your terminal. Use Spotlight to search for it. Terminal, uh, when the terminal window opens, you need to type in this command. 
this the the command will be available in the description you can just copy paste it but there are few things you need to notice and you need to take care of uh, which i am going to explain uh, right in a minute so first you need to type sudo give a space and now as you have downloaded the um, setup file that is the installer file you need to go to the application folder and scroll down to see this install macOS high Sierra app is there right click on it click show packet content go to contents go to resources scroll down and where you can see this create install media just drag this thing and drop it here after that you need to type dash dash volume give a space give a backslash type volumes the command needs to be exact the volume spelling is capital V O L U M E S volume then again give a backslash and there you need to type in the name of the pattern drive as we have done the formatting and we have given the name as Mac so I'm going to write Mac after that I am going to hit enter but you need to put in your password of the of the system so I'm going to put mine and hit enter right after that you will see this message this message will tell you that is this going to raise the volume is going to raise you just need to type EY and hit enter the raising process started and you will see that uh, the process start this process will take some time to complete and uh, depending upon the pen drive you have like if you are using USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 that the copy file will take some time so if you are using 2.0 it will take more time whereas if you use uh, USB 3.0 then it will take less time when the process will uh, get over you will have your USB installer ready to use so I'm going to just speed up this process a bit and then you will see the well the process is all completed as you can see now your USB installer is ready the same process can be done, done for Catalina or Mojave or Al Capitan so you can you make or maybe for the Big Sur the latest Mac OS operating system so you just give a try and make your USB installer and this will help you to install Mac OS on your genuine Mac device very easily one thing to remember is that you need to download fresh copy of uh, this operating system every time because what, what happened when you do this process and keep the things uh, there sometimes what happens is that after some time uh, like like two three months this copy becomes uh, damaged or some expired you can say that because Apple has this certification thing that with which pro uh, prevent it from long use so you every time you want to make a new uh, USB installer better I suggest you to go for the fresh install you just download the file from the uh, store and then create a USB installer so I hope this will help you uh, thank you